In recent back years when the Foxes won the Premier League in 2015-16, they were on the top of the table and one of the best Premier League team. Their squad at that time was very much good like they had Riyad Mahrez and Jamie Vardy up front and in the defense Harry Maguire and Danny Drinkwater. But after that year, their team and their performance was not that good as it should had to be. But in this Premier League, they have got a new energy and a positive start to the season which comes off the back against Newcastle United two times and against Southampton with their first ever biggest win with 9-0. Leicester's have scored full of energy, inventions and versatility this season and they should threaten the elite this season even without Harry Maguire. Ayose Perez signed from Newcastle for 30 million euros is ideally suited to succeeding. Perez gives Rogers precious options because he can play either as a partner for Jamie Ward or as a winker. In either role, he is skillful and clever enough to link up play and deadly enough to finish most chances. The good element in the replacement of Claude Paul by Brendan Rogers, who implemented a more progressive style that Fox's fans wanted to see. Rogers was brought from the Scottish League and former club Celtic, where he had his most fruitful period for winning trophies, like the Scottish Cup twice, the Scottish League Cup three times, and twice winning the league itself. Leicester possess one of the best fullback pairing in the Premier League. Their attacking dynamic is vital in forcing overloads out wide, a source of many of the Foxes scoring chances last campaign. They also have Wilfred and Didi as the anchor man, the James Madison and Yuri Telemans as the interchanging centre midfield pairing. A young threesome complement each other very well and provide plenty of creativity for Leicester's forward. Jamie Ward is the best focal point in Leicester's attacking, not just providing an abundance of goals but also leading the team's high press by gesticulating manically to his teammates like a deranged conductor to his orchestra. He has built a good relation with Ayose Perez and also has continued his impressive link up with James Madison. The Foxes seems to have an exceptional talent in form of the ex Norwich star and England international James Madison, whose value has risen significantly due to his amazing performance on the pitch. They have signed the Belgian midfielder Yuri Telemans for 40.5 million permanently who is a good element in their midfield and provides when the Leicester needs. They also have signed Telemann's fellow countryman and former teammate Dennis Pratt from Sampdoria, alongside Ayose Perez and James Justin from Newcastle United. The Spanish forward, the struggling Kilinchi Elenacho, who leveled up a tie with the Aston Villa a few days ago, could help Leicester reach the next level of football they are seeking. The departure of Harry Maguire to Manchester United for a fee of around 80 million euros has done a little to affect the side though. His vacant position filled by a 23 years old Turkish centre-back Kegler Soyuncu who is beginning to look like an ideal replacement for Maguire with respectable 68% tackle success rate. With other talents such as Ricardo Pereira, Ben Sheville and Wilfred Ndidi all being looked at by clubs within the top six, it is hard to deny the talent and the level of quality that Leicester currently have. If the Foxes keep up the level consistently and hold their nerves, it won't be long that they will find themselves back in the European football. Leicester City now proudly sit in the third place in the Premier League after 5-0 demolition of Newcastle United and 3-0 again and also 9-0 of Southampton. Now they claim to have a chance of achieving something special by finishing in the top four and earning UEFA Champions League qualification.